Hey guys, my name is Nexus, and today we have a campaign. So we're looking at the individual readmes one by one. This is Apache's campaign. Uh, originally, the campaign version was released November 20th, 2000. This is the version that Comag uses. It combines the campaign um, instead of having each individual uh, mission in, in the list. So this is Ramirez's Revenge, originally made October 1st, 1999, re-released December 1st, 1999. So, moving right along. Okay guys, here's normal, hard, and expert. Alright, so we start in this lovely jail cell, complete with skeleton. Now, one of the things you'll want to do is you'll want to wait just a tiny bit after dropping in, because it seems like about so maybe 80% of the time, last. the uh, guards will not be very happy with you. So in the meantime, let me read this. Welcome and enjoy. Come and experience the world of Thief through my eyes. Made by Apache. Play tested by Biscuit. 1999. Native art design. And now we get a lovely little blackjack, and can continue on our way. Yep. Okay. Alright, so there are bowmen guarding the uh, entrance to this prison, of course. Why wouldn't there be? Um, and we're gonna have to be careful of that, won't we? Since we're escaping from this, uh, Vigilance is prison. Our yeah, that let's go with that. Us from the squalid past. Knowledge is our <laughs> it's kinda like Craig's Cleft, but not really. Anyway, important thing to notice, these banners are slightly transparent. So if there's something behind them, you can usually figure out what it is. Oh, such as that. That doesn't look like the wall behind there. That's because it isn't. Of course, this is kind of difficult to reach for some stupid little reason. Nope. Hang on. Yeah, I think this would have been a little bit better having a... <laughs> well, it's either stack boxes or break ghost, basically. That would be really what hard to ghost, actually. Here? Yeah, I think that might have been on purpose, but anyway, it's just a little bit too far to reach simply, so. Definitely gotta be careful there. Anyway, we have three lovely Burrick heads that don't do anything. I'm not really sure why uh, Apache changed this symbol. I, I get the transparency, but I don't really understand why he made the hammer so rounded. I think it was just to make it more of a cross than a hammer. So, yeah. Anyway, we have this way. It's blocked off. Uh, you can chop down these boards if you want to, go that way and go up there, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go a different way. There are quite a few ways we can go. In fact, there are three. Just want a quick peek under the stairs. Let's go upstairs and see. What could be up here? Alright. Well, I'll let you know this is marble. So what does this say? By order of High Priest Lord Montrose, this gateway has been closed. If you need to leave, he has the key. Now, that means, of course, we're going to have to go find him if we want to leave, because that way is the exit. So in the meantime, we'll just sort of grab this loot, which is the other reason why I didn't want to go the way with the boards, is because I'd have to go this way anyway. Just to get this loot, and this loot up here. Now... The interesting thing about this uh, four-part campaign is that none of the missions actually have uh, ratings on the circle. It's actually kind of weird. Um, no professional ratings, that is. They have votes, but no actual uh, reviews. Very strange. One of the few uh, bigger missions that doesn't really, um, in terms of what was released this early. I'll point that out as a disclaimer. Um, but yeah, this was a series of, uh, individual missions before it was put into campaign. And it was a good series of, uh, individual missions. But, 
Uh, this re-release essentially has fixed quite a few bugs, I think. Okay. Trying not to get caught this time. Wasn't very fun the first time. Uh, moved on the tile a little bit too quickly. Made them very suspicious. Anyway. Uh, like I was trying to say, Comag lists the, uh... Dang it. Okay, well, I'll grab him when he's coming back out then. What? It, who walks? Geez, that sounds really far away. I don't like this guy. He keeps, uh... He just keeps trying to do his sneaky thing. Alright. Good, good. Now we can get more supplies. Enjoy ourselves. Enjoy our time. Floors are a bit weird. Occasionally. The textures aren't really lined up. Or, not the textures. The brushes themselves aren't really lined up all the time. Anyway, uh, let's see. Forever in study, forever in learning, forever in life. Builder Testament, Volume 3, Verse 12. Alright, so we've actually taken care of most of the guards on this level. Not too terribly much to worry about. The exit is this way. It is right there, actually. There's nothing hiding over to the corner there, just there's no reason for me to go over there, so I'm not going to. I don't believe there's anything in this room. Nope. Absolutely nothing. Alright then, on to the meat of this mission, as it were. Hopefully I don't forget what I'm going after. Let me check that first. Chisel, 2000, rosary, hammer, leave no, leave no mess for the maid service, yes. That is the most important objective. Alright. Now then, I need to do a thing before doing a different thing. Just to think about that, because I keep forgetting to do that thing, and then I can't do the thing that I need to do. So, yes, anyway. Kind of hard to actually hold on to that for some weird reason. There we go. Alright. Okay, continuing with the actual part of the mission, I've already forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, so Comag has this listed as the campaign, uh, rather than the individual uh, levels for some weird reason. I'm not entirely certain of the uh, reasoning for this, but I don't know, I guess it makes sense. Just gonna, just gonna do that, rather than use the ladder. Alright, now this is an important place to be. Nothing I need to, to be now, here. Oh, thank you. Just gonna take this guy with me just in case. He's blue for some weird reason. Alright, so, really important that you go do this before doing a couple other things. Interesting. By the way, I don't think you're supposed to be able to do that. I think you have to use rope arrows. Uh, but, well. You know me, having my new dark mantle enabled. That's not the key I want. That's not the key I want. Apparently that's not it either. Okay, just pick it then. Alright, so... Yes, last time I played this, I distinctly remember not doing this first and causing quite a lot of trouble for myself as a result of that. Um, I think it was just more tedious than anything. Alright, so Lord Montrose has gone missing, if you read that one. He's uh, Who goes there? probably gone insane. Who said that? given what the diary in his bedchamber says. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, deal with this. Also, despite being the priest wing, there's an apprentice in here. Novice. Also, here's the rosary. Alright, so treachery may have been in the works, so perhaps Lord Montrose isn't as crazy as we had first thought. As a spoiler, he is actually totally crazy, though. 
Nobody likes that guy. He's kind of a jerk. I need to go... Geeky. Actually, you know, if I wanted to, I could actually just leave, but, um, that's the last thing I want to do. Alright. All of these have to be picked. Tedious, kind of boring. There's no patrol that comes down here. I always complain about this, I'm sorry, but it's just tedious. Tedious, tedious. There's really nothing fun about the lockpicking in Thief. It's just kind of hold down the button until it goes. But, I don't know, it makes sense. I mean, it, it's fun when it's, uh, what's the word, suspenseful? Yeah, that's the word I'm thinking of. Gate key. Yeah, it's not actually this gate. By order of the High Priest, Lord Montrose, this gateway has been closed. For business. Yeah, it's just that one. Alright, well. Time to unlock more footlockers. Alright, so... That guy hates being a hammerite. He wants to leave and sell the location of the vault to the downwinders. Where is the vault, one might wonder. I think it's upstairs. Maybe. It's also the exit. Anyway, I uh, always pull this lever first. There's a reason for that. Mostly, mostly because it does that and uh, that one doesn't really do anything. Not really sure what that's... Oh no, I take that back. It does that. Huh. And this just closes this? Yeah, it will. Alright. Kinda what weird. What do we have here? Just kinda weird. Just my personal opinion on that. Don't really know why you'd go to the trouble of that. I guess it makes it more realistic. But, I don't know, kinda weird. Alright, so prepare yourself for this. I've actually fallen through this more than once uh, prior to New Dark, so uh, yes, prepare yourself for the uh, song of a lifetime. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's mine. Not arms, just sort of there. Alright. Now then, what could we possibly be up to? You might wonder. Well, we're up, we're up to a couple things. First off, um, something that I tried to do earlier that didn't work uh, has to do with what you can see way over there in the distance. The other thing, of course, is this uh, kind of obvious little plate here. Now, what does this do, you might ask? What's with that? Oh, well, that fell down, but why is it facing this way? It does that. If you step forward again, it brings it down. So yes, you have to be uh, rather careful when touching that because um, it, it honestly seems like even the slightest part of you touching it will cause you to have a horrible time. And uh, unfortunately, it's not really easy to climb over unless you're on the, you know, the middle part. So with that in mind, I just wanted to do that real quick. Ha! Now that's big. I got it to do it this time. Okay, that's all I wanted in life. Anyway, yeah. Um, <laughs> like I said, that's all I wanted. It's for that cannon to go off. Because if you come from the other direction, it doesn't work. It just... It just doesn't. Which is kind of disappointing. Oh no, you didn't hear anything. There you go. Alright. Works for me. That doesn't work for me. That works for me. Alright. So the other way to do it, of course, is just to walk around here. And do that. Yeah, so you can just come this way and then go around and avoid that whole mess with the cannon and the killer log, but, uh... Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna go this way. I'm sure that you saw the red over there. It's uh, not really safe here, to put it simply. 
Now, because this area is so huge, one of the things that happens is that when you're really, really far away, the AI just stops. It's uh, meant to sort of cut down on how much is spent on uh, processing and things like that. So you may notice that, uh, you know, guards are frozen or, uh, you know, these guys. I apparently can't find a place that's satisfactory to stay in that's not bright. That's all right then. Nobody sees. Alright, so I'm not sure which way he's gonna be coming around the building. Just kinda hoping it's not entirely towards me. Because the instant he sees me, I'm going to be done for. Alright. That didn't work very well. And this kinda works fine. Alright, so we can go get the third one at our leisure. But in the meantime, we have, of course, a dead guy. Another dead guy. There's more dead guys. Hello. A little bit too close for comfort there. Didn't realize he'd already come back around the building. That's kind of what I was stalling for, but you never know. Oh no, he's gone into that state. Okay, just rats. Yes, now that happens quite a bit too, is their uh, noises will suddenly be cut off for unknown reasons. Anyway, we have a lot of dead priests in here. Kind of weird. Alright, so Montrose has turned into a lich, specifically. Uh, apologies for the quick run-through of that book, though. Um, my mouse does some weird things. The uh, sides of the actual click buttons are uh, sort of touching the mouse wheel. So when it touches the mouse wheel, it clicks. Then it thinks the mouse wheel has been touched. And then it thinks it's clicked again because you're still holding the button down happens in less than a split second. Anyway, uh, we have this here. Just kind of random. Don't really know why it's here, because you can't move it. It's just here. Just random, random thing there. I think it's just kind of an incentive to sort of taunt you with getting into this weapon shop. But if you read the diary, you'd know how to get in here. Because uh, the owner keeps his key above the you know, door frame. Now this is worth the price of admission. Now, I happen to agree with Garrett there. We get a gas arrow that we're never gonna use. We get two healing potions, which we might use. I need the weapon shop key to open these. I'd like this. This is one thing I don't like about Apache, is that it seems like most of his things that you have to grab that are in particular spots end up having a really short, uh, you can grab it from here range. See, I already can't grab it from here, but most items you could grab from here. Just saying. Now I can. Now I can't. Just wanted to point that out. Alright, so... Those do something, don't they? Hmm. No, I guess it's fine. Hang on, he couldn't take it with him, but you can't steal the holy hammer. Get his sacred chisel. I have no idea where the hammer is now. I thought I did, but I don't. All right, one more hammer Sounds off the like road. Sounds like I'm getting close. 
There's actually one more after this, but eh, semantics, you know, whatever. Put that up here. Just some moss. Here's some zombies. You can go all the way up to the top if you want. I uh, don't necessarily recommend it. You can also go down there, but I also don't recommend that. Not just yet, anyway. Wait a minute. No. No, I take that back. I do recommend that. I had to think about something. Such as the price of tea in China. Alright. So, we do have to be a bit careful here. You can hear it now. They're Burks. Burks exist down here and they can see my toes. So... You've got to be kidding me. Oh, yeah. Really, really unruly Burks. Well, that killed him already? Jeez, that was... Do I have super-powered arrows or something? That's kind of weird. Okay, well, I need this key to go do a thing. So, um... I'm gonna pretend that, uh, yeah, stuff happened. Because you don't necessarily know that you're supposed to be here. Anyway, there's this guy. Alright, so somebody is trying to run from the barracks. And a poor Caven got his cellmate. Well, them's the barracks, as it were. So, in the meantime... I'm going to escape. Go upstairs. Dang it. Alright. Now, you would think the holy hammer would be sitting right here. You know, considering it says, Here lies the hammer that delivered the first blow to the construction of this great temple. Uh, yeah, that's not the case. So, uh, keep that in mind. Anyway, we have this chucklehead here. Just kind of walking around after his death. Uh, we need to find a thing that does a thing. <sighs> I know that there exists a thing in this room that does a thing. I just have to think of where it is. Give me a moment. Uh, if it's not... <gasps> it's really not this? Okay. Hmm. If you couldn't tell, the bookshelf moves. That, uh, might be fairly obvious at this point. No? It wasn't that. That would be kind of silly. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm stumped. What was it that made this move, then? Was it just messing with you and you did it, or what? Huh, okay. Well... Maybe I'll come back to that when I find out... Hmm. Yeah, I'll come back to that, because I remember it opening, I just don't remember... how. Alright. So... Perhaps we can, uh... get on with our lives. Nor the zombies. Deal with him, because he's annoying. Grab some other stuff, because why not? Hmm. How odd. Alright, so zombies. You guys are annoying. Alright, he's gonna be down for the count for a while. Now we just have to deal with this, this guy. Okay, come on. Good, go to sleep. Alright. Peace and quiet at last. Uh, that's kind of strange. Why is this here? Huh. All by itself, floating in the air. I don't think that's supposed to be there. I don't remember if that was in the originals or not. Anyway. So, we can grab these in case we need it. Why not? Alright, so it says, The hammer shall guide your way. And it also 
interestingly enough, says a couple other things that are kind of cool. Uh, specifically something about instant death. Yeah, it says that. Anyway, so you would think you would pull, you know, that hammer. You're wrong. He hates hammerites. Okay, so we're in some fairly identical rooms. Until we get to here. In which case, I hope you picked up that key. Because that's the only way you're getting that chisel. Alright, so the holy hammer has got to be somewhere. Where could it be? Also, you have to guess at this one. Anyway, yeah. The one on the left takes you back to the, the first room. The other one takes you here, which... We've already been here. And I actually... Yes. This. You need... I for... I... For some reason I thought the key I got down here was the key up there. Or not. Uh... Okay, hang on a second. Gate key, prison key... Prison key? Nope. Gate key? Nope. Oh, so it was that key. Why did it make the... I don't like this noise. Huh. It's kind of weird. Uh, well, anyway, that just opens up that, so... I am not entirely intelligent today. Anyway, uh, we still need to find a holy hammer. It's supposed to be in somebody's grave because it says you can't take it with you. I don't really need to get in there now that I think about it, because the only thing in there is, uh... weapons of some kind, I think. I kind of would like to get in here, though. I feel like I'm missing something really obvious, though. Oh, I can just... Okay, well, yeah, I was missing something really obvious. <laughs> you can just drop it. I didn't realize, because it's a little bit too bright. Didn't realize that it was highlighting. That's my bad. Anyway, uh, we can go up to the top and, you know, scope out what's up there. I don't think it's going to matter, though. And then, aside from that, there's really nothing else in this area. The holy hammer, I thought, was at the top of here, but last time I came up here, it wasn't. Oh, no. Okay, well, I fell off the ladder, so that's always fun. Everybody loves when that happens. This is kind of why people started making the ladders much taller. It can still visually... Nope. Not again. I ain't doing that. Not not playing games. Not doing that stuff. Okay, there we go. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, you can already see there's really nothing up here. This, these are the four rooms that you teleport into. There is this, which is kind of interesting. By which I mean it's technically an exit as well. Unless I'm thinking of something wrong. I might be... Maybe we should have gone out the other way first, because now that I think about it, I think this is where this is supposed to actually end. And I'm thinking that maybe the uh, actual exit is not an actual exit. And yes, I did just do that. Quite frankly, I'm not inclined to uh, waste too much time on getting off of this gigantic mess. Because it is kind of a gigantic mess. Anyway. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, I just wanted to look again. I believe the hammer is actually in the vault, isn't it? And this is not the vault. This is... I don't know. This is whatever it is. So I guess we can go back up... Upstairs. No, we can't go back upstairs yet. Alright. I forgot about this. Okay, where is... Things. Oh, so many noises. Alright. So, we get some minor goodies in here as well. Nice, tasty loot. Uh, the middle part of that is where that uh, board comes down. Oh, jeez. Oh. Well, tried to save myself because that's, quite frankly, a little bit annoying, but uh, that's okay then. I really do th think that people should put their ladders on the ground. If they're going to put 
letters that don't reach all the way, you could at least do me a favor and put them maybe just a little bit closer to the ground than that. Alright. Now then, going back upstairs, which is what I was trying to avoid doing if I didn't have to, and it looks like I may not have had to, so I'm quite annoyed. But anyway, we just gotta call back the elevator. And I guess I'll just take a potion and... There it is. Don't know why they gave me three of them. I mean, it's not like it's that difficult, but... You know, he's the boss. Kerchunk. Alright, so if you wanted to, you could explore each of these cubbies, trying to see if there's any loot, but as far as I know, the only loot is in the ones that you can directly access while on this elevator. Hmm. Well, that's weird. <laughs> they finally started making noise of me. Okay, so I got a nice clue about it. And I'm gonna go check because it's a really dumb clue if it's if it's if this is actually where it is it's a really dumb clue I just got all right just wanted to quickly do that yeah see it doesn't actually trigger it's weird isn't it huh well just gonna put that there then because why not uh so yeah why ha we certainly have a lot of rope arrows don't we Sure do. I could have sworn I looked in all these once and didn't find anything, though. It's not there. There's... Whoa. You know you can't take it with you. But I can. You can't see the face I'm making right now, but I'm really kind of annoyed right now. Ah, disappointment. This is not going to work out in my favor. I can pretty much guarantee that right now. Uh, it's going to be very difficult getting back off of this thing. Okay, good, good. Okay, come on. Thank you. So I'm not sure why you're supposed to know that it's that one in particular. Mm, I guess because it's the only one on the top level that's really, really bright, but I, yeah, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe it's just one of those things. Um, oh boy. Oh! Uh, I thought I was gonna die for sure there. Alright. Well, this is, uh, fine with me. I'm just gonna go upstairs then. Cause, uh, yeah, we're kinda done right now for this part of the campaign. Kinda weird. Hmm. That means that I should've gone upstairs first, though. Cause, well, actually, no, I shouldn't even bother going upstairs. There's nothing up there. Right? I mean, there's just more... Hmm, do I actually have to exit there and not here? What would be the point of this, then? <laughs> Does this count? Yeah, this counts. Okay, cool. Alright, so we got 2,129 out of 2,629. 36 minutes to do the first mission out of the four mission campaign. So I will see you guys next time with the next part of this campaign.